welcome to the ITL. Oh, I don't have, I'm not mic'd up today. It's actually late at night. It's like freaking 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> I figured I'd get this thing shot up because I know this weekend's going to be just a, just a whirlwind. I'm going to busy as heck. Um, hopefully I can be able to hear me all the rain and everything's coming in. Got some thunder going on outside. That's okay, we're in a garage. Who cares, right? Well, I figured this ITL, I'll go ahead and do, it's been about eight months since I've got, purchased this. This is the High Point C9. I'll go ahead and do the review. For those who know me, hang on to the laugh real quick. Yeah, this is a, uh, I wouldn't purchase this gun because it was so, it's so cheap. Um, it's not going to blow up in your hand or jam jam o -matic. Um, well, as I say, I just wouldn't put my life on it. Okay, since we got that on the road for the gun snobs, you know who you are. Uh, I'll tell you what, for, I, I, this here, I paid a little bit much for it. I know I did, brand new. It was $200. That's after, that's tax and everything. How's it work? That's not including, as you see, you probably notice I have a little toy added to it. And for you, safety, the YouTube safety crew, you can see, locked back, there's nothing in it, there's no, no magazine in it right now. There. I'll give you the eight month review on it. I haven't had one, not one, jam upon this. jam matic I have no idea what the heck, what the heck is, is going on. And I got all that from the beginning from different, um, from different write-ups on online. Demomatic, no problem. Blowing up in the hand, I've never heard of one blowing up in somebody's hand. Never. Even these have been portrait tested, proved they work. There is a flaw though. The flaw is holds up within the magazine normally. If you do have a jam, you gotta tweak your magazine or at there is a break-in period to these magazines, and I found, I, I knew that coming into it. So what I ended up doing was I, there's a way to immediately break it in. I found out, and basically, you're basically, you're loading and unloading them. And you're pushing down on the spring until it starts our square in. The, uh, but it, it, it does just fine. Now, you see, I've had this on for some time. I didn't, I've never said anything about it on it. But you can see, Works real nice. I mean, it, it break, I mean, it's nice and bright. Um, it does hold. I'm aiming it past the, the camera. It does hold. Um, it hold. It, it, it holds dead on. Though. I mean, it no problem. And this is just a. It, it's, it's a. I think it's a twelve or fifteen dollar Amazon laser sight. It's all. It's a red laser sight. It attaches to the um, the trigger guard. One downfall I found I, I, I've kind of thought of with, the, with it is it kind of narrows your trigger guard a little bit, so it's not a whole lot of room for like gloves or anything. But I mean, you do what you deal with, I guess. But this is I mean this for me is uh, is a nice setup, especially at nighttime where I can I got it sighted in, I can point it in. And wham, point in, wham, you know. Now this does take uh, it's oversized watch batteries type. There's three of them in there. It's I can't, I can't remember the name of it, the name brand of it, but it, you can find them on Amazon. You can actually find you can find them on eBay also. But it, it, it's, it's a lot of people put these down. Uh, they say they're junk and everything. I don't have no problems with them. I don't, I don't see a problem with them. Um, I do. This is my my shoulder holster right here. And as you can see, it fits right in my shoulder holster, no problem. With the with the latest side on. So, I mean, it, it works for me. I, uh, 
I personally not a big fan of different, uh, I mean, using lasers and stuff, but it does work. I even got it for nighttime use myself, but it, it, it does work. I mean, in a whole about, and I've I've used it, not and it holds good on for me. It does have make a problem with getting a holster for it, but it, it does work. A lot of guys just don't use holsters for them. Um, but yeah, the C9, it's dead on right out of the, it was dead on right out of the box. No problem for me. No jams. The problem, there's two, two problems I do get fine with it. Holy cow. The, uh, the takedown on it, is, you're not going to do a field takedown on it for cleaning. You're just not. you got to lock back, slide, drive a pin out, then you start taking it apart. You're not going to do that. The pin's going to be pounded out through, with a punch through it, pull it out and do it. You're just not going to do it. The weight of it, this is a C9 for compact. And it's a little smaller than the... Uh, the 45s or the 40s, yeah, I could, I could go with that, but it's far from compact. Looks, the, the, the Glock boys say they're ugly. You know what? They don't have the sleek lines or anything, and they're heavy, but the looks are okay. I mean, it's a gun. It's, to, it's a tool. It's supposed to do a job. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, it, it just it is what it is. It works just fine for me. I haven't had no problems in eight, eight months, well, eight months. Now, it is heavy. I do not carry it as a sidearm. I do conceal carry this stuff. I do conceal carry this. I have a shoulder holster that I put it in. With me being larger and wearing bulkier clothes, I can do that very easily. Is it detectable? You can sort of tell it's there, but it's not. it doesn't come out and smack in the face or anything. That's the way it is. Um, but yeah, the C9 I have no troubles with. It is for a cheaper gun. If you only have, say, $200, you can get these used dirt cheap. And normally, if we, it'll eat up anything. I I run hollow points through this. I run full metal jackets. I use, I run steel casing through this. I actually called up the high point and asked them about the steel casing. It'd be all right to run through it. And they said, you know what? It was made for it. Run it. The steel casing's not going to hurt it. If it does hurt it, it's got a lifetime warranty. We'll replace it for it. So, I mean, it's like, I run a steel casing through. This, I think, is a real affordable gun, uh, yeah, gun for me. It's basically for anybody, really. I got it in the 9mm because it's actually the ammunition. Ammunition is more plentiful for a 9mm in my area than the, other, than the 40 or 45. And the 40 and 45 are quite a bit larger than the 9mm. Um, I haven't really done anything to change it, modify it, except for putting the laser sight on it. And I mean, I, I like the way it is. Kind of what I figured I'd give you, that's my first review, I know. That's my thoughts. Like it, dislike it, I'm sorry for you if you, don't, if you dislike it. That's just the way it is. Um, the trigger pull on it, it, it is around six, uh, was it, around six pounds. It's not a bad trigger pull, it's not a crisp trigger pull for a gun like this. You're not going to expect it. It works. It does the job, and that's what you got. That's what you are looking for. Now, big thing. It is heavy. I hope you never. If you do hit one, you never drop it on your foot. I did by accident. It was unloaded. I accidentally dropped it on my foot. It messed. I mean, it was. I had a large black and blue mark all over my foot. It looked like it was broken for a while. But yeah. It does the job, though. It does the job. It will kill. It will. It will, it'll give you heck close range, like pretty close range. You can kill big game with this. You know, you can protect yourself with it. People say, "Oh, it's just a trunk gun." No, it's not just a trunk gun. You can carry them if you choose to. I can figure to give you a my review of eight month review of the High Point C9. This is Muzzle Mike. Hope you all have a great week. Signing out.